It is interesting, but in Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, do you know what it says there? There's only one thing you can take with you to heaven from this earth. You can't take your bank account. You can't take anything else. But your work goes with you because that's what you are judged by. And certainly it is your work in Revelation chapter 19, 8 and 9 that weaves together the fine linen, your righteous acts, that's your work that you wear in heaven for the eternity. So it's a very precious thing to serve the living God. Let's go one more verse. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from, from your vain conversations received by tradition from your fathers, verse 19, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He was perfect. The perfect sacrifice. Do, do you understand that God did not, his only begotten son, he did not spare him. And let's even tell it like it is, God with us. He didn't spare himself. He could have called down 10,000 angels just like that. Wiped out that whole bunch. But no, no. Because salvation was necessary. Because he promised you, you've got a place reserved in heaven. If you're obedient, then he paid the price. Whereby in paying that price, as I quoted already once, Hebrews 2, 14, whereby he could destroy death, which is to say the devil, and rid us forever in the eternity, in the third earth age, of anything evil, but simply to serve God with obedience, joy unspeakable. That's what it truly is when you look at the gift God gives us. Well, can I be sure of that? It's reserved. It's there for you. It has your name on it when you're obedient. Now you, you fall away and start worshiping Satan, and he can jerk your little label off of it in a hurry. Because there won't be any of that. You either love God or you love Satan. You're going to have to make a choice. Satan comes first at the sixth trump. The true Christ returns at the seventh. You've got work to do. And then that work is why you have that reservation. And that work is the end time work that we have, that he has spoken of here. Though you've never seen, you know it must be done that you will make that stand. It has been revealed to you through revelation that uh, God uses whomever he will. And you have that reservation that is uncorruptible. No one can dent it. They cannot take it away from you. You've earned it, and your Father loves you when you return that love to him. All right, don't miss the next lecture. Bless your heart, you listen a moment, won't you please? Day 18,888. To be inhabited, not void. Okay. In other words, it was perfect, but man's 